Hey everyone, and welcome back to On Board Tangaroa. Did you catch last episode where we actually polished the boat? Well, we polished a little bit of it. Hey everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago, we decided it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. You wonder what I'm doing? I've been waiting for the right temperature to take the caulking out of the foredeck. The foredeck's in rough shape. Um, there's plugs missing, the caulking's got holes around it, it's getting water in. So that's what I'm doing. Check it out. It's kind of fun. And then I take my little hook here, you can see it, and I just run it up and down and get all the old caulking out. was not. Um, doing the teak deck. See? Right there. The problem is, oh, I'm just gonna lay down, this is nice. The problem with this teak deck is a lot of the grooves are too shallow and you've got to have them fairly deep to put the caulking in so the caulking sits in there. If not, they just come up. So now I've got to figure a way to make the grooves deeper. Tomorrow I'm going to go to KMS Tools see if they've got something. I looked online and they were talking about a fine tool or a uh, I don't know, some people are using a skill saw. Skill saw won't work here because of course our caulking follows the line of the boat, which is so pretty, but they're not straight lines. So that's the goal tomorrow is to make these grooves deeper. Um, the caulking's already out of it. And then I'm just standing with 40 grit right now. Does that look pretty? I know. Standing with 40 grit with a palm sander, which of course is gonna take a while. I don't mind it though, cause it's just, you just do it really. Like it's just nothing works. Like, Really, I would just do that and then we'll put in some new caulking. And of course, as I'm sanding it with 40 grit, some of the plugs are popping up because they're quite shallow. So I got to take the screws out and replug. Again, it's a nothing job. It's kind of fun to do. It's just time consuming and tiddly, but it's going to be exciting when we get this whole deck done and resealed. Here's my mini me. You're doing an awesome job. I decided to start doing them in sections instead, so I'm probably gonna put these into fours. That's the best way to do it, because it gives you a sense of accomplishment, right? Yeah. Yeah? Are you warmer now? Yeah. You look like me with your headband. <laughs> what? I like it. My wrist hurts. <laughs> I know. You're almost done, though. Maggie! Hello! Hello, puppy! Maggie says, good job. Thank you, Maggie. Hey everyone, so I've been working a little bit on the deck, just trying to figure things out, and I've got a new tool, and I've got to find it. This is, here it is. This is called a hand router. See the little thing in there, right? It's, can you see that? Um, what I had to do is I had to deepen the grooves, so this is what I got. It actually works really well. You just have to go slow, works great. Um, I've got all the grooves deepened. Izzy helped me sand. And now let me show you where we're at. Oh, and I'm filling some plugs. I've got one, two, three, four more plugs to fill. Five. Plugs fall out left, right, and center. Five more plugs to fill. One, two, three, five. And then um, we're going to clean it up with some acetone. And then we're going to lay down some tea caulking. See what happens. Tea caulking has to dry for about three to five days. I might just get this down and it's sealed so Blaine doesn't have to worry about rain. Um, and then I'll just keep going on the rest of the deck. This is about a fifth of the deck. Let me show you. So anyways, this is what I've got so far. Again, you can see I've still got some plugs to do. I've got one there, one there, one there. 
Um, but yeah, Izzy sanded. Uh, this is just the first sand, and then we're going to lay down the caulking and then let the caulking sit, and then we'll sand some more. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I am just putting acetone. Oh, you see my shadow. Pick my nose. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, you can, I'm just putting acetone on it to clean out the teak. Because teak is very oily, so the acetone just takes the oil off, so it's a better adhesion for the caulking. Caulking. <laughs> Such a funny word. So, this is what I'm doing here. I'm just painting acetone on inside the cracks. And once I get that all cleaned, and then it's time to lay the caulk. Lay, yeah, you know what I mean. It's time to put down some caulking. This one hand. I don't know. The other thing we have to do, this is the tip um, of the caulking gun, is I cut it at a 45 degree angle and I need to squeeze it. I just use this. I need to squeeze it. It's hard to do one hand and hold a camera. Anyways, I squeeze it because then it fits into the gap easier so yeah squeeze the tip of your cock okay and this is what I've done so far I just did here, let me get my shadow out of here I did these odd little lines first and then I just use a scraper and I'm just gonna leave it like that till it dries and then we're gonna send the heck out of this deck and then the teak's all gonna look good It's a sausage. You throw a thing of sausage of caulk in there. Um, and yeah, you go for it. This thing is massive. Um, I'm trying it for the first time. I've already squeezed the tip. Uh, made a nice 45 degree angle. And hopefully I've got enough here to finish it. But let me show you where I'm at already. So that's how much one and a half normal tubes of caulking did. Um, Darby, don't step on that. Please. So, yeah. What's that? I hate dogs. Okay, hold on. This is find your claws. Look. Oh. Okay, get off. Uh... Wait, Darby, come back. Don't go in the house. Stop, Darby. Is he? Come here. Stop, Darby. She's got caulk on her paw. I gotta get some paper towel. Stop her. So remember how I'm working on the teak deck? Well, the plugs are all coming out because the teak deck is old. I gotta make new plugs. Plugs are really expensive, so I got a plug maker and some of our old teak deck that we ripped off of this deck. So all I'm gonna do is make plugs. I'm gonna try and do it. I know I'm in slippers and pajamas because it's one of those days. Oops. And that, you gotta watch because it's hot. Pull it out. And that's a plug. So, you know, I only have to make about 400 of them. But that's perfect. And I put it in my little plug bucket. Hi, Darby. Darby's like, what are you doing? I know, I know. I know, I'm making plugs. I'm making plugs. I know, do you wanna help make plugs? Okay, I just screwed up. I let go of the tender, Darby jumped, Maggie's floating out to sea, and Blaine is gone with the tender. I guess I'm getting on the paddleboard. Okay, in case you're wondering, I saved Maggie. So what happened is Darby, who were dog sitting right there, she jumped off the tender. It's windy out. She pushed the tender with her back legs. I didn't quite have the bow line, so I jumped instead of falling into the water and Maggie floated off. 
So thank gosh I had a paddleboard right there. I chucked it in the water and went and got Maggie, but um, it was kind of funny. I was like, what am I gonna do, swim? And I'm like, paddleboard. Thank gosh it's blown up on the aft deck. Um, this is our galley. Everything's kind of a mess because we just don't have any place to put anything. The only thing with cupboards right now is the galley, our closets, everything's not built out. So we have an induction stove top, which I love. We have a full oven. And I just read last night, I love Instant Pots, that the Instant Pot seriously only takes like less than a thousand watts. So might have to get an Instant Pot on board to do that. Um, but yeah, let's make some eggs. I'm starving. Izzy, are you hungry? Yeah. You want scrambled eggs? Yes, please. You want um, mushrooms in them? Uh, no. Um, onions? No. Cheese? Yes. Okay. You see the sailboat? I'm going to show you this. The sailboat is trying to beat the ferry. Uh, I'm not going to happen. <laughs> Fairy's like, bug off. Fairy, sailboat. Fairy wins every time, people. Come on. He tried, Blaine. Back to cooking breakfast. This is the adventure we have on board our boat. If you don't make a distinct move saying that you're gonna get out of his way, he's gonna give you multiple honks. Honks of shame. Lots of honks of shame. That's what you're going to get. Oh, I'm burning the butter. We also have an oven here. I haven't used it very much, but I forgot I had some leftover bacon in the fridge. So I'm broiling, a, ooh, broiling some bacon. So I took a pause on the eggs real fast to broil up some bacon and use that leftover. Right, Darby? Does it smell good? I do. And yes, remember, we have no generator. So I am running the oven with a broiler and the induction stovetop on batteries only because the generator isn't installed yet. But Blaine is very close. But we're gonna have to show you our solar setup pretty soon because he did a kick-ass job setting up this boat for solar. The fact that I can use all of this and we don't have to run a generator for about eight months a year. So as I'm cooking bacon, I always know what way we're healing. We're healing to port, which is that side right now, because all the bacon grease is going to the port side. So I moved the bacon to the starboard side. So it's not cooking in the grease. But yes, we are healing to port main. What are you doing? So we're gonna head down to the Keys, take a break for a couple days. Maybe a couple weeks. <laughs> Darby's like, WTF. Darby's like, why are you doing this? You're just having too much fun, are you? <laughs> wow, you're just immune to all that, aren't you? Go back to work. What's Brian doing, Blaine? Brian's taking off the uh, thick wood rail on the port side. Brian looks like a rock star. I'm impressed. You're taking off the rail. Yeah, is that what we're gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, no, we weren't doing that. If you're wondering what we're doing, we have to pull up this wooden rail because underneath the aluminum is all rotten. There's holes right down into the hull. Just hold on, Blaine. He's just chiseling. Okay. Okay, now you can. Lift up. It's so rotten. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, Blaine. Oh, come on, you baby. Set her down now. I put a shim under to try to, you know, break its back a bit. I think its back is already... it up too. See the one bolt? Yeah, it's that's the one bolt we were worried about, Blaine. Yeah. Like there is one up there. 
It's sideways. What? But you're so close to ripping it out. Yeah. So we're trying to get this board off. Blaine just went down and we found one last bolt. There's always one last bolt and he got the nut off. So now let's see what these guys can do. Oh, that was easy. That made a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> one little bolt. One little bolt. Now what are you gonna do with it? Lay it down right here. Nice. Oh, I like that little curve. Yeah, there we go. Not actually as bad under it as I thought it was gonna be. I really like that curve, Lane. What curve? Right here. Oh yeah. Well, you didn't notice it before? No. Oh, look at the aluminum goo. Oh, you got some aluminum oh, toothpaste. Oh, that's kind of goo. Oh, that's not as gooey as it usually is. Usually it's like liquid toothpaste. Oh, I know. I already got some of that. Oh, did you? Oh, we, we just throw it overboard? Well, it's wood. Why not? Oh, I don't know. I just... It's wood. I throw it overboard. It's all natural wood. Diver, can she can clean she? it? Janice the diver, yes she can. I have to go clean the boat. <laughs> She's got to go clean the boat. I have to go clean the boat. <laughs> None of our tenders can get on a plane, 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 and our crane's broken. Yeah. But I'm already fogging up, can't see. <laughs> it's been a while. Yes, I can tell. Nonsense. Okay, this. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm filming. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get under the water with all that wetsuit. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get the wogger. I'm gonna get the ladder and the wogger. Get the ladder? <laughs> okay, have fun. The thing with owning a boat is the maintenance never ends, and our tenders kind of got, what do you call? Neglected. Neglected, ignored during the yard trip. And I got yelled at a while ago because my light had broken, but look what Blaine just did. We now have running lights on the tender. And he's, what else are you doing? Putting the battery in the? Battery's going under the seat. Battery's going under the seat. But I need to get new terminals for the battery because it's been out, of, from, out in the elements for so long that the terminals are all rusted up. Yep, and I cleaned Durba, which yeah. was a pain in the butt without a weight belt because I floated a lot in the double wetsuit. Yeah. But yes. That would, that would take some effort. Oh, it was, I'm exhausted. That's why, that's why I'm being very Canadian right now and eating my favorite ketchup chips. So Canadian, so yummy. Every country needs ketchup chips. Canadians. <laughs> like most Canadians, we come home and I, I shot my dog. <laughs>